I'm Jessica Hurton with Keishal Fine Arts. I have with me Anthony Benton Good, a Kansas regionalist painter, and his works are currently on exhibit at our gallery. Thanks for stopping in and talking to us. Um, this recent body of work is a little bit different from what you've done in the past. Um, can you talk a little bit about what's caused the shift? I started back painting, painting Kansas landscapes probably back in the 80s, where I got my first commission through the local newspaper and I've been painting uh, the Great Plains and the scenes of, of the Kansas farm scene pretty much since then. So I've become a regionalist, been, I've had regionalist shows, and sort of been following me in the footsteps of my granddad. But at the same time, uh, even though he was termed a regionalist, like me, we painted a lot more than just our particular region. And this shift, um, I started exploring first the desert of New Mexico, and then went up and taking uh, sketching trips, started going up into Colorado. And this particular collection of works, mostly of the Colorado scenes and mountains, a departure of my, definitely of the Great Plains works and my Kansas scenes, which I found invigorating, discovering just the difference of atmosphere once I got up there. Thin mountain air, um, crisp, clean, sharp lines, high contrast. When you start getting up over five, 6,000 feet, the contrast level really dramatically changes. And so it was a discovery of learning taking my techniques that I've been using and employing in my painting scenes for many years and taking, taking those techniques and applying it to an entirely different set of circumstances, atmosphere, and conditions. It's interesting, I call this, the majority of these Colorado scenes, I call it my Gerlinda show. Because I met a woman out there, we were introduced by a friend, and I fell madly in love, we started dating. She lived out there and knew of all the great places. And she said, oh, we have to go here and I'd make sketches, oh, you have to see this, and I'd make sketches. And then I'd come back with the sketches I'd made, and when I'd come back to Kansas, set them up in my studio, and I'd produce these paintings. I took trips into Moab, on the uh, Utah side, where these particular pieces came from, um, into the higher mountains. I learned snowboard, I'd never, had any, I'd never done any winter sports. She still calls me up and says, oh, you gotta see this. You gotta, if you come out, you gotta see this place, so we gotta go check this out. So. Still friendly, and like I say, we're, I'm still producing works based on, on the, my relationship, not only with her, but with the mountains themselves. Definitely not done painting the mountains, uh, but at the same time, even though I've painted Kansas for many years, there are still scenes and aspects of it that uh, still inspire me. And so I will still continue with that, but I'm also putting together shows for uh, a couple of galleries on the East Coast. And so those will consist of ocean scenes, and, um, you know, different, uh, the environment of uh, the coast of Massachusetts, which is actually where I was born, so. Talk about a region, I've been painting the Atlantic under and above it, as well as below it, the coastlines, and now this five stretched my, my um, I guess my experience into the Rocky Mountains now. Well, I guess I'm not done. There's still more to, more to paint, more to see.